This is Duke University. We're here at Visible Thinking Duke's Undergraduate Research Symposium, where undergraduates are showcasing their research from the biological sciences to the physical sciences and the humanities. Some of the posters we saw around the conference today are actually being published in journals as well as presented at conferences around the nation as well as around the world. These are a newly discovered species of early human, Australopithecus sediba, and there are about 80 scientists around the world who are working on this project, and only two undergraduates, and they're both here from Duke. I think it's a uh, really good practice for future if I want to present at conferences. Um, it's a lot more laid back setting, um, but it, uh, it's nice to see so many people interested in the research going on at Duke. One study that combines social sciences and medicine was a study that evaluated how patients use the internet for self-diagnosis. Well, I was interested in the subject of self-diagnosis and particularly in how self-diagnosis impacts the way that people experience episodes of illness. What I found was Contrary to what I had suspected, the internet was playing a relatively small role in the illness behavior of most of the people in the emergency department. The symposium was organized by Duke's Undergraduate Research Support Office. Research is what we do, and undergraduates are doing research in the humanities, and the social sciences, and the natural sciences all across the university. But we wanted to have an opportunity for there to be one event where everybody comes together from across the college in all departments, all fields, and presents and shares what they're doing. From the Office of News and Communication, I'm Prashidi Dalvi. And I'm Pranali Dalvi. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.